Hi, my name is Caitlin Lee, and um, I am in the Electrical Engineering Department of UC Santa Cruz. And I'm a PhD student on my second year. We're working with integrated optofluidic chips, and they have both hollow cores and liquid cores. And we can put particles in the liquid core and detect them through the solid core. Um, and we do a lot of trapping with these chips where we can send light down both ways and use the lo natural loss of the chip to trap, trap something. And we're going to be using um, we need multiple wavelengths of light to detect different particles um, since they fluoresce at different wavelengths. And we, we are planning on using the femtosecond thing for some of the trapping as well. Wow. An example of one of our chips. And so you can see they're pretty small, so it'll allow us to integrate them into handheld devices type things so you can go into places like Africa or someplace like that that doesn't have a lot of electrical development and you can test for diseases or purifications of waters or things like that long term. So because of the small size, we have a lot of opportunity to do things that you wouldn't be able to do in a large system like you would have at the doctor's office or a hospital for testing. The laser over there that um, is being shared by multiple setups. The idea is we can move this setup over to just this laser and be able to do more things with it than we could. And this has the advantage of we have fibers coming out, which we will set up over here, and we can move our chip in, and then we have a camera so we can look at it from over top and see what's going on, as well as control the fibers off from one spot. Yeah. I mean, I'm not sure where the other one. No, I'm I thought there was something about one. Okay. 